What's good, y'all? It's your boy Santo G, man. Back at it, like always, spreading unity, prosperity, and respect, man. But of all, today I wanted to talk on the integration that's happening in CDCR, man, and just my thoughts and my perspective on it, right? I just wanted to say that if CDCR really wanted to do something like that, then they should have never made a SNY to begin with. They should have just made it one prison, just how the county does pretty much, you know what I'm saying? If you got certain charges and stuff like that, then you're on one side, you know what I mean? And other than that, you pretty much, you're on the main line, you know what I'm saying? Anything else happens or anything like that, ain't no such thing as S and Y. Then they would have never had this problem to begin with. Now, with them leading people to think that if they go this way, you know what I mean? You're going to stay away from politics and you're not going to be around certain people and stuff like that, right? Then, of course, you know what I mean? Nine times out of ten, you've seen my videos. The mandatory workouts, mandatory showers, the mandatory yard. All those videos, I've been getting nothing but, like, negative feedback. Like, oh, I wouldn't let no one tell me what to do. I wouldn't do this, I wouldn't do that. And nine times out of 10, those are the people that are gonna be S and Y. Those are the people that are gonna be quick to lock it up, you know? I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say that those are the only people because politicking, you do get certain people that just end up on the bad end of the stick when it comes to that and they have no other choice but to lock it up, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it to belittle no one or anything like that. I'm just talking as far as what I feel about the situation and how I view things. And the reason I say this, I say that to say this. Okay, right? So now you got people that don't want to deal with politics when S and Y. Right? So now because CDCR wants to just scramble shit up and just fuck with people, now you're fucking with people's dates, man. You know what I'm saying? If you have an active that's going to a SNY yard, you know what I'm saying? And say that prison has three bad yards and two active yards, right? Say they send them to two bad yards first. That means he's gonna, the first yard he goes to, he's gonna have to get off. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna have to, first person he sees, he's either gonna get packed out by the SNYs or he's just gonna get off on the first person he sees. So that's 90 days, right? There's four more yards, but what if they send him to another bad yard? That means he's going to have to get off again, put himself in jeopardy again, and risk catching another 90 days. What if they send him to another one? That's another 90 days, and so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? And you have a person that's normally S&Y, and they're getting transferred, integrating to a GP yard. Nine times out of ten, the GP people are going to be waiting for these people. You know what I'm saying? And as soon as they get there, same thing. They're either going to get off or they're going to get off. And they're going to catch more time. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to do it and do it and do it till they get somewhere where they feel safe or where they feel like they're good. You know what I'm saying? So the way I look at things is they're just stirring shit up, man, and causing a lot of good people, man, to just get caught up in bad situations, catch more time, get hurt. Just for their fucking, for their amusement pretty much. You know what I'm saying? They're bored. They want to see if this works. And they're using the homies and everyone else as guinea pigs. That's the way I look at it. Right now in CDCR, all the inmates are getting used as guinea pigs. They're doing an experiment with them, man. And I say it's all bad. You know what I'm saying? It's all bad because you're going to get both sides. Catching more time, catching more time, getting hurt, getting hurt over some bullshit that they created. Why? Because they made SNY and they made GP to begin with. If it would have been like all these other states, just one prison, if you fuck up, you fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Then maybe people would think twice, you know? Maybe stuff would be different. But this is the system we live in. This is the system that exists in our state. And all I can say is my advice to people, man, is just stay out, man. Stay out on the streets. You don't have to deal with that. Like I said, I'm just speaking from experience. Just seeing it from 
transpire. You know, I still in contact with a couple of people and they tell me shit that's going on. And it's just a fucked up situation, like I said, you know? If you GP and you get sent to S and Y, you're gonna have to get off, risk getting hurt, risk getting more time, and vice versa. If you're S and Y and you go to a GP York, you're gonna risk getting hurt, risk catching more time. And for what? Just because the motherfucking COs and the system wants to put people against each other and just use them as guinea pigs. That's just my point of view, man. We just gotta start <clears throat> paying attention to everything that's happening, you know? All that stuff can change and it could get put to a stop, but people need to bring awareness to it, you know? I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh yeah, we need to do this, we need to do that, because to be honest, I'm out of prison and I ain't trying to go back, you know? I'm just sitting here and I'm telling my story with you guys, giving you guys my perspective from an ex-convict, man. But other than that, man, this is as far as it goes. You know what I'm saying? Your boy Santo G, man. Like always, unity, prosperity, and respect, man. Above all.